Hey everyone, so, did you know there are quite a few movies out there that are strictly for adults? Yep, these films are definitely not for kids or anyone under 18. In today's video, I'll be listing 10 movies you should definitely avoid watching in public. If you're 18 or older, you might want to check them out, but definitely do it in private. Before we dive in, don't forget to support me by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Let's begin. In 10, we have Red. Red is a Japanese drama film that delves into the complexities of love, infidelity, and personal identity. The story follows Suguri Toko, a married woman with a daughter, who seems to have an ideal life. However, her world is turned upside down when she reunites with her ex-lover, Kurata Akihiko, at a friend's wedding after 10 years. This encounter leads to a rekindling of their passionate relationship. Directed by Mishima Yukiko and based on a novel, the film explores themes of extramarital affairs, the nuanced struggles of a housewife, and the quest for personal fulfillment. For adult, if you're into emotionally charged dramas with deep character exploration, Red is a must watch. You can watch the movie on Viki. In number nine, we have The Lady Improper. The Lady Improper is a Hong Kong movie that tells the story of Siu Man, a nurse struggling with her identity and intimacy issues following a failed marriage. After her father is hospitalized, she decides to take over his restaurant despite having no culinary experience. Enter Jia Hao, a charismatic Paris-trained chef who not only helps revive the restaurant, but also reignites Siu Man's passion for life and love. Through this journey, she confronts her fears and learns to embrace her desires. The film is a beautiful exploration of healing, personal growth, and the transformative power of food and love. The movie is one hour, 48 minutes long. You can watch The Lady Improper on Veiki. In number eight, we have Empire of Lust. Empire of Lust is a South Korean historical movie set in 1398, following the story of Kim Min Jae, the supreme commander of the Joseon dynasty, who falls in love for the first time and takes risks for his beloved. The film also delves into the ambitions of Yi Bang Won, the king's son, and the hedonistic lifestyle of Kim Min Jae's son, Jin. This intense narrative is marked by themes of power, love, and revenge. The movie, running for one hour and 53 minutes, is rated 18 plus due to explicit content, including violence, nudity, and sexual scenes, making it unsuitable for viewers under 18. You can watch Empire of Lust on Iki and Netflix. Availability of the movie may vary from region to region. Number seven, we have My Man. My Man is a Japanese movie that tells the haunting story of Hana, a young girl orphaned by a tsunami in Hokkaido. Taken in by her distant relative, Yungo, the two form a complex and controversial relationship. Based on Kazuki Sakuraba's award-winning novel, Watashi no Otoko, the film delves into themes of forbidden love and emotional turmoil set against the cold, desolate backdrop of Hokkaido. With a runtime of two hours and eight minutes, My Man is a slow-paced yet intense narrative exploring taboo issues with stark realism. The film is available to watch on Asian Crush. Now in number six, we have Addicted. Addicted is a gripping Korean film that delves into the spiritual connection between two brothers and the intense, complicated love that develops between a man and a woman. The story unfolds when Dae Jin falls into a deep coma at the same time his brother Ho Jin dies in a car accident. Upon waking, Dae Jin begins to exhibit the habits and appearance of his late brother, leading to an addictive and tumultuous relationship with Ho Jin's wife, Yoon Su. This psychological drama, directed by Park Young Hoon, runs for one hour and 50 minutes and features standout performances by Lee Byung-hun and Lee Mi-yeon. Due to its mature themes and explicit content, Addicted is rated 18 plus and is available for watch on Prime Video. Number five, we have Lust Caution. Lust Caution is a gripping espionage thriller directed by Ang Lee. Set against the backdrop of Hong Kong in 1938 and Japanese occupied Shanghai in 1942, it follows a group of Chinese university students who plot to assassinate a high-ranking official by using a young woman to seduce him. The film stars Tang Wei and Tony Leung, delivering intense and captivating performances. With a duration of two hours and 37 minutes, the movie is known for its explicit content, including violence, nudity, and sexual scenes, making it unsuitable for viewers under 18. You can watch Lust Caution on Prime Video. 
In number four, we have Petty Romance. Petty Romance 2010 is a delightful South Korean romantic comedy that tells the story of Jo Ong Bae, a struggling manhwa artist, and Han Darim, a former sex columnist. In a bid to win a 130 million won prize for the best adult manga, Jong Bae hires Darim to help him with the storyline. Despite their initial antagonism, the duo's partnership blossoms into something more, with plenty of laughs and unexpected moments along the way. Lee Sun Kyun and Choi Kang Hee's chemistry adds charm to this quirky tale. With a runtime of one hour and 58 minutes, Petty Romance is available for streaming on Prime Video. Third, we have White Knight. White Knight is a gripping South Korean thriller that dives into the dark depths of human nature. The film begins with the mysterious murder of a pawnbroker in a remote town, leading to a tangled web of secrets and lies. Veteran actor Han Seok Kyu plays an investigator haunted by an unsolved case, while Sun Ye Jin and Go Su deliver powerful performances as the enigmatic Yu Mi Ho and the tormented Yo Han. Adapted from Higashino Kago's novel, Journey Under the Midnight Sun, this film intertwines suspense, drama, and a poignant love story that slowly unravels through hauntingly beautiful cinematography and an intense storyline. The movie is two hour, 15 minutes long. Below 18, never watch this movie. Second, we have The Truth Beneath. The Truth Beneath is a chilling South Korean thriller directed by Lee kyung Mi, lasting one hour and 42 minutes. The film revolves around the disappearance of a teenager, Min Jin, amidst her father's intense political campaign. As secrets unravel, Yeon Hong, played by Sun Ye Jin, discovers a web of conspiracy and deception, exposing the darker side of politics and personal ambition. This movie is rated 18 plus for its intense themes of violence, profanity, and disturbing content, including sexual elements. It delves into complex issues of manipulation and betrayal, making it unsuitable for younger audiences. The Truth Beneath is praised for its suspenseful plot and Sun Ye Jin's compelling performance, but viewers should approach it with caution due to its mature and unsettling narrative. Watch The Truth Beneath on Prime Video for a gripping exploration of the lengths people will go to protect their secrets. Now in number one, we have Romance Doll. Romance Doll is a thought-provoking Japanese film directed by Tanada Yuki, spanning two hours and three minutes. The story revolves around Sonoko, played by Awa Oyu, and Tetsuo, played by Takahashi Issei, whose seemingly perfect marriage harbors secrets. Tetsuo crafts sex dolls for a living, unbeknownst to Sonoko, who is preparing to reveal her own hidden truth. Their relationship faces a test of intimacy and understanding amidst the complexities of their personal and professional lives. This film delicately navigates themes of love, secrecy, and acceptance, challenging societal norms with a blend of comedy, romance, and drama. While the plot occasionally dips into predictability, the stellar performances of Aoi Yu and Takahashi Issei elevate the narrative, making it a poignant exploration of human relationships and vulnerabilities. Romance Doll offers a unique perspective on unconventional love and the compromises we make in pursuit of happiness. That's all for today, everyone. I couldn't cover everything, but if you want more, let me know in the comments for a possible part two video. Until next time, take care and goodbye.